Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Arana. Today is the 10th of October 2019. We're going to reflect on Luke 11, 5 to 13. And Jesus said to them, Suppose one of you has a friend and you go to him at midnight and say to him, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread for a friend of mine has arrived and I have nothing to set before him. And your friend answers from within, Do not bother me, the door has already been locked and my children are with me in bed. I cannot get up and give you anything. I tell you, even though he will not get up and give him anything because he is his friend, at least because of his persistence, he will get up and give him whatever he needs. So I say to you, ask and it will be given you. Search and you will find, knock and the door will be opened for you. For everyone who asks receives and everyone who searches finds and for everyone who knocks the door will be opened. Is there anyone among you who, if your child asks for a fish, will give a snake instead of a fish? Or if the child asks for an egg, will give a scorpion? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him the Gospel of the Lord? This is a difficult parable to understand in the context of today. So let us take a minute to look at the various cultural elements because they are so different from ours. In olden times, hospitality was very important. When you had a guest, you ensured that you fed him. Not providing a meal to a guest brought shame not only upon the host, but on the entire village. So when a visitor suddenly arrives at the doorstep late one night, the host becomes desperate because he doesn't have any food to offer. However, he has a friend. He goes to his friend who is in bed with his children and doesn't want to get out. Now for another important detail, in today's passage we find the word friend repeated four times in quick succession. When this happens in scripture, it indicates a special significance. So friendship is an important element of this parable. However, although these two men are friends, it is going to take something a little more to get one out of his bed to give the other the three loaves of bread he has come to ask for. But what's the big deal, you might wonder? If someone is at your door, you go and answer it, give the guy whatever he wants and get back to bed, right? Well, nowadays this might be easily done. In those days it wasn't. A typical poor family lived in a one-room house and if they were really poor, that room also served as a stable at night. A family slept on a raised platform to protect them from the animals in the room and once bunked down, nobody got out of bed because it was not easy to go from place A to place B. Besides, doors had complicated locking mechanisms. However, eventually the friend's persistence carries the day and he gets what he came for. Now how do we relate this to prayer because that's the point of this story. Is God like a sleepy man who hates being taken out of bed? Does he have to be badgered into submission? On the contrary, this story suggests that if a sleepy neighbor would respond to a friend's need, how much more would a loving father respond to a situation that arises in his child's life? And so he invites us to approach him with boldness and ask for whatever we want. Ask and it will be given, Jesus says. Search and you will find, a knock and the door will be open to you. But we often find this to be untrue. We don't get what we ask for. Why? James gives us the answer. When you ask, he says, you do not receive because you ask with the wrong motives. But you may spend what you get on your pleasure. So what are the right motives then? We need to ask for the things that help us to lead a life that is pleasing to God. And that includes the bread of life that we can share with our friends who come to visit us, even if it's late at night. God bless you.